This is sperm whale and it is the largest toothed predator. Males typically are 16 meters long and weigh 45 tons, three times as much as females. Though there are claims of males over 24 meters, but they are considered exaggerated. And the biggest accurately measured sperm whale is thought to be 24 meters long and weigh around 80 tons. These giants are named after spermaceti, liquid mixture of fats and waxes that fills their heads and forms a large complex of organs that are used for echolocation, communication, and protection of head. It also was hypothesized that spermaceti organs can be used to adjust buoyancy, to make divings easier. These animals are also one of the deepest diving mammals. Though sperm whales mostly dive between 300 and 800 meters, they are still able to plunk to 2,250 meters and are exceeded only by the southern elephant seal and Cuvier's beaked whale. In spite of all sperm whales' adaptations, continuous deep dives can badly influence their body leading to some problems like a vascular necrosis, death of bone tissue. But they still allow these animals to hunt on deepwater giant cephalopods like giant and colossal squids, as well as octopuses, demersal rays, sharks, and most common food source, medium-sized squids. Interesting thing here is that even though battles between sperm whales and giant or colossal squids haven't been observed, white scars on their skin suggest that such confrontations can happen sometimes. Their hunting involves echolocation, which occurs because of already mentioned spermaceti organs. This organs, along with other structures, allow sperm whales to produce one of the loudest sounds in animal kingdom, reaching up to 230 decibels. Sperm whales' populations were strongly influenced by sperm whaling in the 19th and 20th centuries, and reached its peak in the 1960s. Whalers hunted them for already mentioned spermaceti that had a plenty of uses in cosmetics, machines oils, candles, an ambergris, a solid waxy waste product that's produced in sperm whales' digestive system when it's irritated by squid's beaks, is most commonly used as a fixative in perfumes. But luckily, after reaching its peak, whaling rates decrease significantly. Though sperm whale species still is listed by different organizations, either as vulnerable or endangered.